Hey guys, welcome back to Pots of Mama Bear. Um, in today's video, I wanted to show you how I take this um, old card table and I wanted to um, pretty much like redo it. And it's a very simple way to make something um, that looks like this into something nice. Um, I needed a table for my arts and crafts and stuff that I do um, on the videos for you guys. So yeah, here is what it looks like before. And as you can see, it has these scratches. It's got like this big stain in the middle. Um, I did want, uh, I did go ahead and wipe it clean. Excuse me, I wiped it clean. And now I'm just waiting for it to dry. So yeah, guys, let me get everything set up and then I will come back and show you what I'm going to do. Okay guys, so the only thing that you guys are going to need for this video is this um, self-adhesive paper, also known as contact paper, and some scissors to cut. I'm not going to measure anything out because um, this is just supposed to be a quick video. So I'm not too sure which one I want to do. I kind of like this one, but I just realized that it's um, messed up right here. And I don't want to really use something that's messed up on a table that I'm going to be using for videos. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. And I put the other one away. So, um, this says it's supposed to be 18 inches by 5 feet. So it's 18 inches. Um, the width would be 18, 18 inches. And... The um, length of the paper is five feet. I'm sorry guys, you hear a little Tracy in the background. You do also hear my swamp cooler um, if my mic is picking it up. Um, we live in an area where there's swamp coolers and not, um, well I mean they have both, but it's more swamp coolers. Don't mind the ink on my hands. Um, my printer, I went to look at my printer yesterday and I went to take out the ink, the black ink, and um, it exploded all over my hands. I can't get it off. So, anyways, enough about what happened to the, my hand. Okay, so all I'm going to do, oh, there's another one right there. Okay, so I'll just put this part and what I'll do is just hang, like, not hang it over the side, but I want to do it to where it um, kind of folds under just a little bit. I cannot get these off because they're welded on there. So we're just going to work with it. I'm going to leave it about probably like an inch off of each side off of the the bottom right here and off of the sides and no I'm not measuring it so I'm just going to go ahead and take it and I'm not sure if you guys can see this on this side so I will move it the camera just a little bit okay so now I'm going to just go ahead and start cutting and it does not matter what the edges look like um, just because they will be hidden So there's that part. I'm going to put this stuff away for right now. And now we're going to go ahead and start putting the, um, taking the paper off of the back and then just going ahead. Yes, you guys can see little Tadashi. Say hi. <laughs> okay. So don't worry guys the scissors are put up high to where he cannot reach them um so now i'm going to just make sure it's where i want it and then i'm going to start peeling the the paper off of it yeah. 
Hold on just a second, guys. I'm going to go get Tadashi something to play with so he is not messing with my stuff. Okay, guys. So I actually just let Mia play with him. Um, now, you don't want to take all the paper off all at the same time just because um, it's going to be a huge mess. So all I'm going to do is just go ahead and... Stick this onto this, make sure that it's all smooth, and then I'm just going to pull down the sides and make sure that it's all on there, smooth, not have any wrinkles like I just did. And the good thing about it is that when you take the contact paper off, there's no residue. And the adhesive isn't as, um, isn't super strong to where you can't take it off and reuse it again. Okay. So I do have a little bit of wrinkling right here, but that is because I have um, this little thing right here. I'm not even sure if I'm able to show you guys. Okay, so I have this middle piece right here on all four corners. So now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off the paper little by little and work my way like that. and hope I don't get any little wrinkles in it. So my plan was to do something like this in the RV, but I never got around to it. So I figured I would just use this contact paper for this video. I mean for this table. And hold on guys really quick. Um I wanna check something. Okay. Okay guys. Um I just had to go check on the other kids really quick because I didn't know what they were doing. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and take off the rest of this paper. Well, actually not yet, because I don't want any wrinkles in the paper. Okay, now I'm going to go just, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just, now again guys, this is just for my crafting table. Um, so I'm not really too concerned with how it looks right now because I can always just go to um, Dollar Tree or Michael's and get another roll of contact paper for it. Okay, so now for the edge or these corners, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a slit up to, on both sides, up to the, the corner. And yes, I'm just now realizing that this is not completely straight on there, which I don't really mind because it's um, just a cover for the table. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these corners and just push it down. And then push this over it just like that. And then I'll go ahead and put the rest of the contact paper over the edge. And then pull it just like that. Now, if you have some hanging off the bottom like I do, I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth it out under 
the table. And then do the same thing like I did on the top, just cut a little slit. Like so, and then fold it under. That is how I did the bottom half. Now we are going to go ahead and do the top half. Sorry, I'm trying to pan my camera up just a little bit right there. Okay, so now that I'm looking at this table from through the camera view, um, I can see how much it is, um, how crooked it actually is. It starts way up here and then goes down there. But like I said, not really too concerned with it. Okay. So I don't have enough paper for um, enough contact paper of this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and use this sorry, the second roll to finish up the top. Um, I can just cut this little piece off because it's not too far into the roll. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and start on this side just like I did the bottom half. And I ripped it. Okay. We are going to scratch that and just use, I'll use that for a different project, but we will just open this other roll. And I am having a really hard time opening this. So I'm gonna open this and then come back. Okay guys, so I opened it and I went ahead and cut off the part that was um, messed up. Now, this looks like two different kinds of wood and I am just looking at that and how weird it's gonna look. But, um, this is just for the video. <laughs> um, okay. So, Again, we're going to just kind of lay it out. And I will probably re be redoing this um, after a while. Uh, I'll go, I'm going to probably go back to Dollar Tree and get another, um, I'm sorry, just looked over and seen Tadashi doing something. And it looks funny. Um, I'm gonna probably go to Dollar Tree and get a few of um, a few rows rolls. Sorry, of the same kind of wood. Um, I did not purchase this at Dollar Tree. I got it from somewhere else. And um, when I looked at them, I didn't really look at them good enough. So. Again, we are going to just go ahead and take the contact paper off of the adhesive paper off of the back of this other paper. And it is not really working out for me, so hopefully you have better luck with it. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, just like I did the first one, just lay it on here. Yeah. And first I'm going to lay the side down, just like I did in the previous section. And then just smooth it out on the sides. 
Now, not only will this be my crafting table, it is also my kids' homework um, station. Uh, I did just um, sign up for us to be a private school, um, a private homeschooling for the kids. Um, yeah. If you guys have any questions about that, you can go to your state's um, like schooling or even you guys can ask your um, your school district and I'm sorry if you guys see the camera shaking Tadashi is right here so I'm going to leave this right here really quick and then go um, find him something else to do okay guys so where I left off was I was pulling this off and I'm trying not to get it all wrinkled so I've already taken it off um, like four times just to get it to where it's not all wrinkled I know it would be a lot easier if I use like a ruler or even a credit card or something but I was already in the middle of filming and I really don't feel like going to my purse Okay, so I'm sorry you guys hear yelling in the background. Um, my kids are actually cleaning and they're telling each other what to do, I guess. They're supposed to be cleaning their rooms. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to stop the video right here really quick so I can tell them not to be as loud. Okay guys, so I finally got everything calm. I'm really, really sorry you guys heard all that in the background. But, um, yeah, it does look a little weird, doesn't it? But again, this is just for the video. Um, I will go back and redo it, and I will do another video showing you guys when I redo it. Um, but yeah, here is the end of the paper, and now I'm just going to kind of smooth it out a little bit so now that I got all that smoothed out I'm going to go ahead and take the scissors again and cut it And then go ahead and tuck one side under and then this front part over and then smooth out all of this and then again do the same thing here so guys this is the the finished product. Um, sorry, I'm moving the camera in all kinds of crazy ways. But that is the finished product, how it looks. I guess it does look a little weird because we have the two different kinds of um, contact paper. Um, it kind of looks cool to me. I mean, I kind of like it, but uh, yeah, I will go to Dollar Tree in a little bit and see what I can find, and if I can find something that I like there, then um, I will show you guys how to do it all over again and um, what our updated version looks like. <laughs> okay, guys, we love you guys so much, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you guys want to know when we upload. Um, also, the kids' channel uh, they will be putting up another video, um, but I believe that video is only going to be uploaded to the kids' YouTube, um, like the 
the YouTube for Kids. And then um, I will upload um, that same video onto my channel. That way you guys can see um, their snack of the week. And yeah, so uh, like I said, we love you guys so much. And thanks for watching. Bye.